We had an awesome weekend. We sold almost $2,000. We are gonna cover what we sold. morning this is what we look like in the morning good morning i it, woke up like this <laughs> I, I did not i actually uh did something uh -oh. i put on my glasses and then that's horrible good morning uh it's seven uh monda got up at three because she couldn't sleep yep explain yourself i wish i could have slept she's been a long time trying to go back to sleep i think it's because she's so mad in love with me that she cannot spend the time to sleep. Next. I just didn't want to miss a thing. <laughs> We're a bit silly in the morning. Um, <laughs> we've been debating since yesterday on if we want to do the um, eBay store buyout video or if we wanted to vlog and uh, share our sales. And we're actually going to do both today. Yeah. So the nice thing is that Mona is currently listing now and uh, right as I rolled out of bed I listed five pairs of shoes um, just to kind of get this morning kick started and our goal of course is to list 10 pairs of shoes and 20 um, other items yeah. so 30 total for the day but we also want to show you all the sales because uh, I think we nearly cracked 2,000 in sales which is pretty Almost, awesome yeah just under yeah so we'll start pulling some orders showing you what sold and uh yes, we'll go from quarter there four is here folks this is where you're gonna make your money. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if you're new to reselling, this is where you put the excuses away and just get to work because you're gonna cash out. Um, right. And obviously if you're seasoned, yeah, you know. Spend your summer finding all the things that you can't fit anywhere so you can sell them and get rid of them in That's the winter. Right. That's it? Yes. Let's get started. These are all the shoes that I listed uh, within the last day and a half and a pair already sold, so I wanted to pull those out. These ones, these are Nike um, Flyknits. They are the Lunar Epic Flyknit 2s. And they sold really quickly, same day, for $35 plus shipping over on Facebook. Now, if you're new to this channel, what we do is we cross list all of our shoes on eBay, Poshmark, and Facebook. And uh, Monda also cross lists on Mercari. Really nice condition. Look out for anything that's Lunar and anything that's Flyknit from Nike. It tends to do really well. The rest I'm going to go ahead and put up in the loft and then grab the ones that sold. We just made one more sale on shoes. These uh, Montreals sold. Sometimes we forget to offer free shipping and they still pay uh, full price, which is great. These Red Wings sold last night. Uh, a pair of Timberlands, a pair of these Naots, um, some clothing from Liquidation, some Brooks, so, some Keens and some uh, L.L. Bean boots. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull those. Uh, I gotta find room. We're pretty much at capacity now, as far as shoes go, so all of our racks are full, which is a good and a bad thing, right? It's good, we have great inventory, but we need to start moving these shoes and uh, making money, which we have been, obviously. And like I've said before, it's definitely a volume game. I did bring up one more rack up here, which is right here. We'll have to figure out if that's a good spot for it or not. I don't think it is, but we'll see. So far I've pulled the LL Beans, the Keen Boots, the Brooks Addiction. Are they in here? Nope, not yet. I gotta go find the Brooks Addiction. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all the pulling and then I'll show you a bit of the details when I get downstairs. Red Wings. Found these Montreals. Timberlands. Brooks. And these sandals. Melinda is going to jump in and she's going to show you the shoes that sold and what they sold for. Before she does that, I just want to talk about efficiency a little bit. So as you can see, I prepped each shoe box already. I already put my filler on the bottom. And I already tore all of my uh, pieces of paper that we're going to wrap the shoes in. In general, this just saves time. Just think about an assembly line. Think about that person at Domino's Pizza or your favorite pizza joint that makes boxes ahead of time. So it just makes sense. I know early on in your reselling career, this might make a little bit less sense because you might only have two or three orders going out. It's like, well, wait a minute. Why would I batch the shoes or batch the two electronics that just sold because I only have a few sales? 
the point is to get into the habit now so as you continue to grow your store you're more and more efficient as you grow right every single minute you shave off of packing or listing or storing or pulling orders is going to help you long term so just keep that in mind as you continue to grow your business Monda's up next she's gonna show you those shoes shoes I have the shoes this week I know this is a shocker that it's fall but these rain boots sold they are bean boots, just an altogether really great boot to look out for. Men's, women's, it says bean boot right on there. Uh, it's this classic style. A lot of brands make this style, but the brand is important. These sold for $59, free ship on eBay. We also sold these Keens. These have been sitting for a while, actually. I thought they would sell faster. They have a cool teal color and they're the basic standard keen toe, but they did finally sell, so happy with that. They sold for $39, free shipping on eBay. These are Brooks, but they're a little bit different, you might notice, than your typical running shoe. These are walking shoes. They have that thicker base. They're designed to support uh, people in industries like waitressing, cooks, things like that, the non-slip sole. Uh, really where you're going to be on your feet a lot. These provide that extra support. Those types of shoes are always in demand. Uh, so these sold on eBay for $48. As a reminder, we pay about between six and seven dollars on average for our shoes. So we always just do an average cost unless it's something specific that we paid up for. We'll note that. But otherwise, these shoes that I'm going over, unless I say otherwise, six to seven dollars average buy cost. Next, I have these nails. Uh, Dean found a bunch of these at a random garage sale he ended up stopping at. And this woman had just really nice shoes, quality. She had like foot problems or, or something like that, so she paid up for some quality shoes. And these sold for $45 on eBay. These are Timberlands, which overall is a really good brand and generally does sell very well for us. These were a smaller size though. They're women's six or men's or kids four and a half, which is obviously smaller. So you do have to wait for the right person to come along. Smaller sizes just don't tend to sell as quickly, uh, but they are good quality. They still hold value. We have had them sitting for a little bit longer than we like but they did sell for $40 on eBay. Another pair of work shoes. These are Red Wing shoes. That's a really strong brand, very durable. They specialize in quality work type shoes specifically. And these actually have the composite or steel toe. Uh, I'm not sure which it is. I think composite. Uh, great condition, slip resistant. They also sat for a little bit longer because there are women's and generally speaking, there's less women in the industries that require steel toe. Um, just a fact. And these sold for $45 on eBay. Uh, these sold this morning, but we're packing them up. So here they are. It's a, kind of a new brand for us. So it might be a new brand for you too. So we're going to include it. Uh, they're Montrail. I picked them up because I had picked up some Columbia Montrails the week before. So I originally actually thought they were they were those. I thought they were Columbia. Um, but when I got them home and looked them up, they weren't, which is fine because they had a good sell-through rate and they're still in excellent condition. These are just classic Converse. They sold for $25. They pay ship on Facebook. These are Fila's, which aren't a brand that we normally pick up, but they were a fun color and they were in excellent condition. So we did sell them for $25 on Mercari and they pay shipping on those. And then the last ones are part of a bundle deal on Posh. We had them listed for $29. Um, they're gonna pay shipping. We took a best offer for about seven things. So let's call it $25 they pay ship on Posh. Before we move into some hard goods that sold, I wanted to bring up a mistake that I made. So recently we sold these handles. These are closet door handles or basically door handles without a lock. They're all brand new. Uh, they wanted three bucks each at a garage sale. I think I got them for a little bit less because I bought them all. Unfortunately, I screwed over two of our buyers because the way I set up the listing was that each purchase for $29.95 uh, free shipping was going to include two sets of two or 
four boxes total if you bought two orders. So if you bought one order, you get two boxes. Both of these buyers bought two orders or four boxes each, and I only shipped them two boxes each. So we're gonna have to swallow about $18 in shipping as we ship these out today, make up for the error, and uh, hopefully we didn't throw a huge curveball into their um, re you know, renovation or whatever they're doing, they're building. So we're gonna get those out. Pay attention to your own listings. Mistakes do happen. Make sure you reach out to your customer, you talk to them, and you find a solution and take care of your buyer. I cannot believe that the gentleman at this garage sale had the audacity to ask $10 for this glove. He didn't get it. I offered five. He came back with $750. It was so cute. Um, his wife was running the accounting part. She had a little calculator and she added it all up. Anyways, this is a very special glove. Look out for the 2800 by Wilson. This one sold really quickly for $90 with free shipping. We'll put it in a padded envelope and it'll ship for about eight bucks. At a different garage sale, I ran into a box of vintage knives. Um, I had a hard time identifying them. This one didn't have any sort of label or brand on them, so it only sold for $27. So I just put in something like, you'll see it in the title, like vintage knife with the blade length. So, hey, two bucks into 27 shipped is perfectly fine. This one, however, did have this RH on it. This is not the original, Monda help me with my English, sheath? Sorry, sheath. Oh, huh, I, I did it. Sheath. Um, but it had this little RH on here, and then there was a bunch of rust. So I originally listed this one, I described it, and I just put an RH, and I was like, whatever, you know, I'll just run an auction on it. I don't know what's going to happen. Then the other one already sold. I found another one which had a Boy Scouts um, emblem on it, and it also had RH. It said RH51. That one already sold for 40 shipped. I found out that the RH was the logo for Remington. So this is a Remington vintage combat style knife. It sold for $50 with free shipping. And again, with the buy cost at only $2 a knife, I was pretty happy to see that one go. So out of the eight knives or so, three have already sold and I'm very happy with that. Another belt sold, if this is your, if you're a returning viewer, you, you know about these, about a buck 50 or so at a barn sale, 20 bucks out the door, four bucks to ship it. We have a few left. There is definitely a market for old craftsman stuff, including beat up old rusty toolboxes. Now this is a pretty big toolbox. It does have the insert on the top. It took a little bit to sell. We found this just kind of tucked away at an estate sale for only $5. And it sold for $65 free shipping. It'll cost about 15 to 20 bucks to ship this thing, depending on if it's going to the Midwest or the West Coast or the East or the South. Still really happy with those margins. Pretty easy to pack it because it doesn't need any padding. It just needs some craft paper for the voids. Happy to see it out the door, especially since it's so bulky and it takes up a decent amount of space. Strider for the original Nintendo sold for 15 bucks shipped. Uh, some titles obviously are worth more than others. Uh, if they're in that 10 to 12 plus shipping range, we'll go ahead and sell them individually. If not, we'll just put them in a bundle or wait until we get another console. We'll put that together. So 15 bucks, free ship, three bucks to ship. Most Blu-ray players are pretty worthless, but this one has the Wi-Fi built into it. So if you zoom in here on this top, anytime you find these Blu-ray players, see if, the, if it does have that Wi-Fi capability on it. It does have the original remote. We only paid five bucks for it and it sold for $60 with free shipping. It'll ship for pretty cheap as this is a pretty small piece of electronic. And I think the market is out there for these small ones, especially for like campers or, you know, uh, fifth wheels, things like that. They're really compact and they can squeeze in pretty tight spaces. So look out for these. They might take a while, but they sell pretty well. Another Heath kit manual sold for 18 or 19 bucks. We paid about a quarter for it. We have a few of these left literally printing money. Just put in a poly bag out the door, super easy. Heath kit stuff goes for a lot of money if you see it, especially in estate sales. Um, look it up. Um, it's a money maker. Mona's gonna come back with a pretty epic Bose sale, some pots and pans, of course, and some articles of clothing from that torrent haul that we just did this past uh, what, two days ago. That stuff is already selling, so I'll give the camera back to Melinda and she'll show you what's sold. Before we get into the best sales of the weekend, we wanted to announce the winner of these beautiful Nike Rose Gold Air Max shoes. There's a few of the comments that we thought were really good, so we're gonna read a couple and we'll choose a winner. So I'll let Mel go first. Yeah, there are there were a lot of good ones. So if we're not reading yours, we had a good chuckle at pretty much all of them. So 
Don't one. feel bad. This one made me giggle. The underpants gnomes came into their closet at night and stole the torrid clothes. When they realized they didn't get any underpants, they took it all to Goodwill. It's just underpants gnomes. <laughs> um, and then I also liked, I have a lot that I say. Uh, Adine has a stalker who is in the process of transforming herself to look like Melinda and no longer needs the plus size clothes. I thought that was funny as well. <laughs> there are a lot of nudist comments, which makes me kind of think about who our audience actually is. Uh, at least five <laughs> nudist colony comments. So, uh, my favorite one is this one. Uh, left by Robin. Uh, she writes, This torrid collection was donated by the coach of a Division 5 football team. Who would wear them after a big football victory? Last week, his wife and children, who were supposed to be out of town last week, walked in on him, prancing around it, to Helen Rady's song, I Am A Woman. Shocked by what they saw, they set him down and called over, over his friends and had an intervention. He was so overwhelmed by the love for him that he vowed to donate his entire collection to Goodwill and never sing that song again. <laughs> I thought that was really good. Uh, let's pick a winner out of those three. I do want to give a shout out to everybody who made really great backstories. Some of these were just really like Definitely had a lot of thought. They were like a whole story. For they were sure. a whole novel in a little paragraph. Yeah, uh, too bad we only have one pair this time around, so we can't, uh, maybe we can just split. Maybe everyone just gets a piece of the shoe and... Yes. <laughs> or Very two winners. One, one left, one right shoe. Now, so we are going to pick the winner. Drum roll, please. It's pretty good. Robin M. Roylands, the uh, winner of these Nike shoes. Contact us uh, via Instagram. <laughs> Contact us via Instagram at Hustle and Hooks or email below uh, this video. There's going to be our email address. We have a secondary picked out if uh, Robin does not contact us. If that doesn't happen or if that does happen, we'll announce the backup winner on Wednesday. So Robin, go ahead and claim them. You don't have to be here live for the premiere, but you do definitely need to claim your shoes. So congratulations to you. Yeah, nice and, job. And thanks to everyone um, who participated. On to some really nice sales. Uh, Melinda's gonna show them to you. Couple big hitters. This first one is this sweet little Angelina doll. She's a mouse. She's an American Girl series doll. Uh, it's her and she has a, a bunch of cute little outfits as well. She's like a ballerina, little mouse doll. And then these are a bunch of outfits. I'm not gonna take them out now. We'll pop it up on the screen so you can kind of see, but just a variety of different ones. This sold for $75 on eBay. We bought it in a bulk deal, so it's sort of hard to value what we paid specifically for these. I would say, let's call it $10. We have consumers energy crews right outside our window right now. So if you're getting some beeping or whatever that noise is, apologies, there's really nothing we can do about it. I think they're cutting trees down or something and our internet was wonky. So probably relate. <laughs> that was definitely a truck. That was not me. So our next sale that I'm going to cover is pots and pans. We haven't been processing too many of them lately. We've sort of been collecting them on shelves in our garage. And last week I decided to take a day and just get a bunch done. So that's what I did. I uh, made different lots, listed some individually, and a couple lots have sold. This is one of them. It's Revere Wear and it's three pans. I'll hold them up. And they all have lids. So just a little one, medium, and then we always try to put a big one in with our lots too because it sort of carries the value of the whole set. So this sold, as I mentioned, for $75. We probably have uh, $12 at most into this and it'll ship probably for around $10 to $12. The next one was our biggest sale of the weekend and it was an electronic. What's up, homie? Did you get all the sneaky snips? Did you hear pots and pans? Did you think we were making foods for you? Ah, we make you treats. He's recording. <laughs> Toddy's rear is gonna be in. Oh, no, no, <laughs> she's a lady. Oh, <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> he 
want to show them? You want to show them? Hmm? The fucking thing. Right. You're doing great, Tati. There's good. <laughs> okay, so this was our biggest sale of the weekend. It was a Bose. It's the same one that we sold before. <laughs> we did. Did you mean? Did color. you mean hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> oh hi, Tati. Uh, it's the Soundwave Three. Yep, it's the Soundwave Three. Uh, well, what I was gonna say is it has the uh, original one on top and then the three additional discs on the bottom that connect uh, and it does have the remote as well so as I mentioned we did pay up for this one we paid 200 for it but it works very nicely as it should sounds great it sold for four hundred and twenty five dollars so still a really nice profit margin on that even after the shipping cost next this is the second biggest sale this is a lot of vintage matchbox maybe you could get in here and go over oh, it because sure. there's a few trays of them in here yeah they're the lesney matchbox cars really great condition obviously they were stored very well we got these with that big toy buyout that we went over before that someone said was garbage whatever everyone's entitled to their opinions uh and not garbage we are 100 percent in the profit now so this was a 175 dollar sale so i am happy to sell this garbage did you want to be on youtube you could just say it you don't have to pretend you don't have to be like all sneaky and stuff like i'll just walk by and see what happens oh she's fine next is uh, another toy it's a playmobile this was from a garage sale. We found a bunch for $10 and just made this like medieval lot set. I think this is like some type of cover that fits maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it's like a play. Yep, you're exactly right. Yep, and then it's got the figures and all the, all the fun Accessories. stuff to make it cool. It sold for $40, so it's not a ton of profit, but we didn't hang on to it very long. So happy with the turnaround and full profit. We also have another American Girl uh, clothing set. This came with that lot of American Girl stuff that we picked up all together. Uh, probably a couple bucks into this. I made separate clothing lots, and this just happened to be sort of a popular outfit. It's the Girl of Today jacket and shirt. And then I also have tights and shoes that weren't original with it, but it just made it a complete outfit. So that was my reasoning behind that. And this was a Mercari sale. It sold for $20 and they're going to pay first class shipping. First up, a pretty basic one, North Face. It's a little hoodie, a full zip. It sold for $29. We picked it up at a garage sale for $3. Uh, obviously, fall clothing is going to start selling, including sweaters and jackets, and you'll see a few of those. I picked this up at uh, a garage sale as well. It's just a vintage Detroit Red Wings. Uh, nothing fancy, just a little sweater. Someone offered us 15 bucks on Poshmark and we took it. They pay for shipping. You know, not a huge profit margin, but again, we just want to move this stuff. We don't want to hang on to it. A pair of Zana D uh, jeans from the 90s. We got this for free. One of our uh, viewers actually sent us a box of stuff to resell. This one sold for 25 bucks plus they pay for shipping. Um, we offer free shipping on this one we forgot to turn it on and they made us an offer and it's like yeah sure they're paying shipping it's free money so thank you you know who you are look at that a torrid piece remember we said this stuff is gonna sell fast the first two pieces that we listed already sold the first one these uh, torrid zippy pants for ladies sold for $38 on Mercari we pay for shipping only because the i think it's like 12 bucks for anything over a pound and we know we can ship this for eight dollars with a padded envelope so if we're going to pay for shipping obviously we just build that into the price there so first one to go oh my goodness look a torrid sold the second one this is that one with the little uh skull thing design cardigan ladies clothing uh 25 bucks someone made us an offer of 20 we countered 25 on poshmark they pay for shipping so literally 100 percent of what we've listed uh, already sold, both sold within 24 hours, I believe, maybe 36 hours. 
This is a uh, sweater. This is uh, brand new with tags. Came out of uh, liquidation. It sold for $18 uh, with them paying shipping on Poshmark as well. We definitely wouldn't recommend sourcing this brand at like a thrift store. This just liquidation stuff, brand new with tags. You know, if you can get it for a buck or two a piece, then yeah, there's, there's money to be made. But um, definitely on the like lower value mall brand um, list. All of this stuff here, you'll see it on the screen, sold in a bundle, uh, including those Nike shoes that Melinda covered. It was another Nordstrom Rack sweater, a pair of pajamas, a, a couple of bras and a shoe. One of the bras we didn't have, so Melinda threw in a few hair ties for the buyer. She was super sweet about it, she understood, and I think Melinda uh, hooked her up with some extras in here. So everybody wins. It was a $115 sale altogether. Uh, there was some jewelry as well, uh, nothing too crazy, you know, $15, $20 pieces that we got from liquidation as well. So super happy. Thank you, whoever uh, bought that. Uh, great to sell a multi-quantity lot on Poshmark. The next one I have on my phone, I forgot to pull it, so I got to go grab, grab it. It's a lot of four sweaters. Again, these are all new with tags, um, knit size, uh, extra small, uh, Nordstrom, you know, liquidation stuff. Sold for 36 bucks, free shipping. We'll put it in a bag. It should ship for about nine bucks or so. So again, these aren't brands that you should be out there hunting. It's just liquidation stuff. That's it for all the sales. We'll come back. We'll do some rough numbers to show you kind of how juicy these sales can be and how crazy these profit margins truly are when you're buying the stuff for so low and flipping them for market value. As we were getting everything packed up, we did have one more sale come in worth mentioning this Karam Skittles set. It is 100% complete in the vintage original box. And that sold for 99 bucks free shipping. Now, note if you do find this one incomplete, it's going to be worth a little bit less. But still pretty good. We only paid 15 bucks for it, but it came with a bunch of other stuff. So we're going to associate $10 as the cost of goods. So unfortunately, uh, looks like Facebook Messenger, Facebook, Instagram are all down at the same time, which is a bit unfortunate. It is very unfortunate. I was supposed to pick up another plant today. I was going to say because we couldn't ship a couple of pairs of shoes, but oh yeah, that too. Uh, yeah, so luckily Facebook gives you a little bit more time to ship, uh, so no big deal. Yeah. Um, congratulations again to Robin for that funny story on the Torrid giveaway. Please contact us ASAP so that we can get those out to you ASAP. Yeah. Um, Monda, you want to break down the numbers real quick? We did end up selling over 2,000. I thought it was going to be just under, but it was just over $2,021 worth of clothes, shoes, and goods. Of that, we're going to keep about 55% after everything, taxes, shipping, all that good stuff. Which is pretty juicy, right? If you really think about it, uh, it's juicy a good word. <laughs> Glad that made you laugh. Uh, it's pretty juicy, right? The margins are really healthy. Um, let's do some math. So I'm gonna have you bring out the calculator. I know, mathematical. So I like math. how many items did we sell? Really? Yeah. Uh, let's count. I mean... So we have uh, not including the Carmen thing that sent, sold, sold today. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And we got... Did you get these? Yep. Yeah. So 19... 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. 26, 27, 28, 29, as I beat my wife at these backs. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38 items. So out of 38 items, excuse me items, I gotta get back in here. So let's, let's say that we spent 15 minutes per item from the time that we got them to the time that um, we got the label on them. It's nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours. So it took us roughly nine and a half labor hours to make a thousand dollars, which is kind of crazy, right? It's like a day. Yeah, a day's worth of work. Yeah. So think about that, right? So if you can really get this thing going, you can make a lot of money selling online or reselling stuff online. Does that make sense? It does. Yeah. Does it make sense? Let's say we put in... So that's like $105 an hour. That's pretty good. 105 bucks an hour. I would take that job. I would too. So what if we uh, what if we did 20 minutes per item? Just out of curiosity. If we're, we're a little bit slower. 
I think it was 38. Mm -hmm. 38, 36, I don't remember. Oops. So that's 760 Eight. minutes. Oh. Divided by... That's about 13. 13 hours. hours. So if we took 20 minutes per item, which I doubt, it usually takes us about nine minutes or so start to finish on an item. And that's just under seventy-seven dollars an hour. Yeah, so not I bad. Take that job too. Yeah, seventy-seven bucks an hour. The most I've ever been paid in a corporate gig was just around that forty-dollar mark. So I'm happy with making uh, basically double per hour. Mm -hmm. Anyways, just wanted to kind of run that through, um, get you to think about reselling if you're not doing it already. It can definitely be very lucrative. Yeah. Um, there's definitely some bumps at the beginning, but you can pay off a lot of debt and make a lot of side money, or like us, you could potentially do it full time if you choose to one day. Yeah, whatever you want. Whatever you want, man. The world is your oyster. Indeed it is. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. We appreciate it. Congratulations one more time to Robin. Uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.